What's going on, y'all? This is going to be my final thoughts on the uh, Lauro Omni Terminator. Now, this is the carbon fiber version. They also have an aluminum version. They offer it in uh, ready to run and then also as a roller for both versions, which is actually pretty good. But I'm going to say right off the bat, for the price you pay for this, you cannot beat this. For $249, this is at a pre-sale price, and they kind of go up, and then I think they actually go back down in price and stuff. You can't beat it. I think as far as trucks that are... Uh, 11 scale, which is kind of what this is on up. You can't beat it for the price. You get a brushless truck and it's actually pretty strong and pretty durable. Now, there's one thing that Alara, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of you guys have seen your comments on this is not something picking on them or anything is some of their customer support as far as getting back to people and then also shipping orders out. I think that what they do is when they get these vehicles in, a lot of influencers get it. We test it. And then they see some of the weaknesses that may be in some of the vehicles and they ship them out. But I think that actually prolongs other people that have ordered this and anticipating and getting this or any other car. It kind of delays in shipping and stuff. So I really think they need to step their game up with that. If they're watching this video, I don't know if they will or if they won't. But I think that uh, there's not that many problems that we've had in their vehicles a lot. And I'll tell you guys about one thing that uh, broke on this that I actually had to replace. But that's going to be the biggest thing, I think, just with Alaro as a company in whole. And they've been picking their game up the last probably year and a half or two or so. And they actually got a crawler and stuff coming out, too. So I don't think the crawler is going to um, be needing a lot of parts to be replaced. But anyway, it's a 6 year crawler. And when we get more information on that, I will let you guys know. But that's one of the biggest things. I, like I said, I've seen you guys' comments on uh, contacting them and not knowing about getting contacted back and then orders being shipped and stuff. And of course they're overseas and I know they're working hard to try to get this stuff out, but communication will be a little bit better. I think from what I'm seeing from the comments from them to individual people. So, but other than that, I mean, they're making some great cars and I can't wait till they step their game up to larger scale vehicles. Now, the one thing that I broke on this vehicle, uh, where it's actually two things, but if you consider how they broke or whatever you consider one. And no, I have not cleaned this thing up. I took this thing through Hades and back and it actually survived. The only thing I managed to break on both sides was the screw that holds in the rear shock. It's going to be this that goes in the shock tower. I didn't even bend the shock tower, but both of those screws actually broke. So hopefully at some point in time, and maybe that's delaying the shipping, is they're making sure that when you guys get these vehicles that you don't have some of the issues like what we had. Um, so that's been the one thing you guys can see I replaced that. I actually put uh, um, armor screws in there and I had different sizes and stuff like that. But I actually replaced them. I haven't had a problem since I replaced those. And then the other thing is going to be also that front light. I smashed on it a couple of times at the skate park, laid it head first and broke that light <laughs> out of there. Um, but other than that, this thing has been good. It's been, like I said, the toughest. It's even tougher than some of my 10 scale and 8 scale because I was surprised at kind of what I took this through and it actually survived. I mean, that was a plus for me right there that it actually took a lot of the beating and it survived and nothing broke on it at all. Except for, of course, what I said with those screws and then that light coming out the front of which I don't even know where that's at. So I do recommend if you get this, if you're going to do some heavy bashing, either go ahead and unscrew that light and put some glue or something up in there or something to secure that so that you won't lose it like I did. Um, you guys can see the wires still hanging down there, but the light is completely gone uh, for us. So I do recommend you actually do something to secure that better or just take it off if you're going to bash and stuff with it. Um, or I don't know, make an alternative. You guys will figure something out. You guys are smart out there with stuff. Now, I did go ahead and do the adjustment to where I used a regular size LiPo in here. And you do have to kind of secure the speed controller, which I did here, some zip ties and stuff on there and double sided tape with that. It is kind of a tight fit, but to still be able to fit a full two or three S standard size LiPo in here in this small vehicle actually did wonders for the car. I mean, speed wise out the box, I think I was doing uh, 35, 36. And then when I stepped up to a larger LiPo, I gained a couple more miles, probably even though it was a lot heavier. But it had more voltage output and stuff, and it just had a larger capacity, and it stepped the game up to about 40 miles per hour on 3S. And I think that that's actually fine. And when you do some gear changes and stuff, I think you get to about 43 to about 48. It's just going to depend on the kind of light bulbs and stuff you use when you do the gear change for it. Some people I've seen have run 4S on this vehicle, and I think 4S is just 
extreme too much, but they've done it and it's actually handled it. Now, I don't recommend 4S and taking off road and doing some bashing because there's going to be a lot for it. I think 3S is going to be plenty, at least in my opinion, for a vehicle this small. Um, no other issues, guys. I mean, the chassis or anything you guys see that hasn't bent. And I actually landed several times on the front of this vehicle thinking something was going to break. And this was on concrete at the skate park and nothing happened. I believe this was the only in the first vehicle I was actually able to do a triple backflip um, at the skate park. I do have to look at a couple of things, uh, making sure that the bearings and stuff are fine. You guys see this is a little loose here. So it may be one of the bearings might have broken stuff through there, but I was trying to take it through its paces just to make sure that this vehicle would not break. And nothing, like I said, nothing broke. And I was really impressed with that. No A-arms broke. You guys see it's got threaded aluminum shocks on this carbon fiber, carbon, carbon fiber version. Uh, everything has been fine with this. I don't have any complaints at all uh, with it. I do have maybe one or two gripes, and that's going to be uh, just small little things that we like to see, like some of the adjustments and stuff on the radio. I think we'd like to see more uh, trims and stuff like on the side. Of, we're just used to certain things with it. But once you get used to the functionality of this radio stuff, because it is a six channel radio, it's actually good. and does have like a gyro stuff built into it. If I can recall, I never had to use it because this car handled fine and I didn't need to use any of that. So this is something kind of new that they're doing with these vehicles. And it's been fine for it. I think that someone who is just getting into the hobby is going to look at this and be like, oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. But it's not difficult once you actually go into it and figure out all the stuff in the menu and stuff for it. But it does have some of your basic trims and stuff you can see right there as far as throttle trim and stuff is concerned, which is actually good with that. So other than that, I don't have any complaints, guys. I'm telling you, this has been a good vehicle. Uh, one of the best small scale vehicles I think I've ever ran and ever tested, especially at the price point of two forty nine. You know, regardless of whatever, I think that if someone was looking at a small vehicle when these become available, this would be your best bet. I mean, the only th other thing I think you would think about is different bodies for it. I haven't looked at other bodies that would actually fit on here. Um, at any point, but I will at some point in time, but I'm pretty sure there's some bodies out there that were fitted, but this body on here has been fine with the roof rails and stuff on it. And it's taken a beating guys. I mean, normally these get pulled out on other vehicles and all that. And I haven't had any of those issues at all. I mean, I really, really haven't. I'm really, really impressed with this vehicle. And I'm actually, after this video, I'm actually going to go run it because I charged the battery up and go ahead and run it through some thick grass and try to get some of this dirt and grime off of it so anyway guys put your comments down below i know one of the biggest things is some of you guys have contacted them they haven't gotten back to you which i'm pretty sure they will these things are shipping out at the time of this video i know some people have gotten them so if you can be a little bit more patient you know you'll get yours soon uh hopefully sooner than later with it and i know some people have said i saw on a former laurel said they're shipping them out and the shipments coming here and they were somewhere you know close to hitting the united states or something like that so but we'll see what they do in the future with other things. I can't wait till they make this into like an eight scale vehicle. If they do this as an eight scale and make it just as strong, they're going to shut the market down. And if they do their 787 as a uh, maybe a seven scale car or something, it's going to be great if they do that. So hopefully these are test pilots for larger vehicles they'll do in the future. So anyway, guys, I'm um, quit my yapping. I'm going to. Oh, one other thing, too. Tires, too. I didn't talk about tires. I've had no problems with these tires. They did not come off the wheel. They actually handled the 3S power that I put through to it. Uh, and they were soft enough to where you get enough traction and stuff, but they weren't too soft where they ballooned and they give you plenty of grip. And you guys see, I've been running this thing everywhere. And like I said, tires and stuff have held up. So good job with this Alara. I'm pretty sure everything else with them will step up in the next coming months even less than a year or so. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.